Hello there. This is Cheryl Lentz, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, talking to you on Tuesday at 2. If you're here, give me a holler. Um, I, I almost forgot. I, I was so excited that it was a Tuesday, which is a great thing, and that I didn't have to go anywhere today, not until 6 o'clock tonight. And so I sort of got lo um, lost track of time. And about 1.30, I was like, oh my gosh, it's Tuesday. I have to get downstairs. I was working on um, securing a, um, a Airbnb for our trip to Maui in July. I have earned a trip for two to Maui. Um, thank you, Stampin' Up! for that opportunity. And so my paper monkeys, Lisa and Julie, are going to be going along with me. So um, we are going in early and we wanted to stay uh, they were talked about staying at a hotel and I've been doing these Airbnbs and they're it's been so much fun so that's what I was doing all morning first I had to take care of the cat because the cat is sick but she's getting much better thank you for everybody who has uh, um, wrote in and talked about the cat um, I have a cat named cat that's not friendly but I like her because she loves me more than any other living thing on this earth. And so I will keep her and keep her healthy as I can. So um, it's a little difficult giving cat um, medicine, but I've learned how to do it and um, she's she still likes me. So we're, we're on talking terms, which is a good thing. So today I'm going to talk about kits. We have so many wonderful kits in the catalog. Some are exclusive that have everything in them, and some you can get monthly. Our paper pumpkin, I'm talking about our paper pumpkin kit. Um, that's something that comes to your house. It's $22 a month, which includes shipping. Uh, you never know what you're gonna get. They do give us some little sneak peeks on occasion, but they're fabulous. And I'm telling you, if you if you did them years ago when they we first started, they have come a long way, baby. And um, they're wonderfully fun. And I'm going to show you the December kit. And I made up some of the cards exactly as they suggested. But then I'm also going to show you what I have left. And so on Friday, I'm going to come on and do a quick little talk and show you the different type of things that I made using the products that were left from my paper pumpkin kit. Also, what I'm going to do is unwrap a kit that I haven't opened yet. So I'm, I saved it to unwrap with you. So it's for our botanical prints. It's a product medley that um, has a kit, has all kinds of good stuff in. So we're going to explore that kit together. So if you're here, say hi. Um, leave a comment, wave, let me know, and let's get started with the fun. So I'm going to put the camera down and share my video. Hello, share my video. And then I will put this on YouTube also. So um, you, can, you can go back and watch it and, and check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way when I get advanced and I can do the YouTube videos, you'll get um, notification that way also. So here we go. I'm going to turn the camera around. Ta-da. And um, first thing I have on here <clears throat> is the, the back page of our catalog. I'm going to make that a little smaller, I guess. <clears throat> the back page of our catalog gives you all the information about Paper Pumpkin. So you can pay as you go. It's $22. You can get a one-month, three-month, six-month, or 12-month subscription to it so buying it all at once you would get your um, rewards your um, celebration rewards plus you would get hostess benefits and it was it would be like buying 11 and getting one free so um, check that out if you don't have a catalog this is our annual catalog let me know and I'll get one to you if you want to know some more about paper pumpkin please let me know um, I would be happy to show you I'm going to show you the December kit here so this is how it comes in this nice little box. Sometimes they have specialty boxes, different colors, different things. Let me see if this is, yeah, that's right in the middle. Okay. <clears throat> so <clears throat> this is the, you get these instructions <clears throat> for each kit. It tells you exactly how to put it together. It has pictures on the back. And it has also some additional things that you can do with the paper pumpkin. It gives you ideas. Again, 
that you can do with your um, paper pumpkin. So I did the cards up exactly as they had them. So these are the cards. They're full-size cards. Now, <clears throat> they don't have the inside in, just so you know, but they are full-size cards, and you can put the inside in. I know where you could get some paper. <clears throat> and they have some gold foil. They have these um, fancy little um, embellishments and lots of fun. So I'm going to show you what's inside the kit here. When you open the box, it's, it's wrapped in tissue paper. I, of course, have opened this box because I'm using it. You get a stamp set. So here is the stamp set. Let's see if this will show up this way. Look at this great stamp set. So you get this whole stamp set. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 stamps on this one. <clears throat> you get the great stamp set. You get enough to make, uh, let's see here, there's 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You get four of each of these cards, because I have one made. <clears throat> Here's all the backings, right? You get your dimensionals. You get these lovely embellishments. You get stickers on this one. So you also, these this gold, which is shiny, shiny, these are stickers. But I kept the leftover pieces because I can use my die cuts, or I think the die cuts would work the best. These are stickers, so you could use um, and use all this little these little pieces up with some of your dies. So I kept that. You get all these little tags, and here's more stickers and matching envelopes. So there you go. Really cute. So tune in on Friday, and I'm going to take my leftover pieces. And I'm going to show you some alternate things that you can do with the December kit. So if you don't have it, this will just give you some ideas. If you're interested, let me know. I would be happy to get you hooked up so you can get your very own paper pumpkin kit delivered to your home every month. So here's the cards all ready to go with an alternate view for Friday. Now, this is the kit I want to talk to you about um, in addition so this is on page 61 of the new mini catalog the mini catalog here page 61 botanical prints it's a product medley so in this medley you get the stamp set you get dies you get designer paper um, you get embellishments you get all kinds of things let's open it up and see what we get it's a huge suite uh, product medley for set. It does cost $70, but you get a ton of things. And let's open it up. So this is the first time I'm seeing it too with you. Let me see if I have a good view here. Yes. Okay. All right. Here we go. I'm going to open up the box. Da -da 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 -da. Drum roll, please. I feel like I should have a drum roll. Okay. I hadn't even had my first Coke yet. I'm, I'm really behind. <laughs> I'm really behind today. So, here we go. I'm going to open this up. Here we go. Pull out the box. Oh, I got it upside down. That's okay. So, here we have some dies. We have a stamp set. We have some beautiful ribbon. Some embellishments. So, here, I'm going to open this up. They have this nice cardboard in here. I reuse all of these bags. They have nice cardboard in here to keep everything. Okay, if I can open it, I can reuse the bag. There we go. Okay. Here's all the paper. Okay. Embellishments. Oh, they're pretty. Oh, they're little. They're little bees. I didn't. I didn't know what it was. Can you see that? Let's take one out. There's a little. They're little bees, little gold bees. They're metal. All right, let's look at this beautiful paper. Here we go. Pull this out. I'm all thumbs today. Okay, here we go. Paper. Oh, lovely. Let's see here. How many? One, two three, four, five, 
fix. I'm trying to see how many, what does it say? You get um, 48 sheets of paper of six by six. Um, so this one has a lot of, here's the front, <clears throat> or here's the, here's the front, here's the back, whichever, whichever, front and back, there we go. Very pretty. This, I think you could use your blends and color in. You could have like a spot of color. I love the black and white. Okay, here's the next. It looks like a tile to me. That's what it reminds me of, some of our tile things. So here's the front and back. There we go. Very pretty. And ooh, there's a stripe. Love black and white stripes. Here's the back side. Oh, very nice. And here's another tile. It's like, it's opposite of this tile. See, this has a white background. This had the black background. So you have an opposite print. Let's see here. So here we go. Front and back. Beautiful. And here we go. Here's another one. Let's go front and back. That's that pretty peacock. Uh, so pretty color. And here's another one. Yes, this is the last one. Okay. And then, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six different prints, double side. And I, six, yeah, very nice. Okay. So that's that. And then you get all these pretty pieces. So here's some die cuts. Hmm. Different shapes. Patterns. Here are two of these and two of these. Okay. So two of each of the die cuts. That's cool. So you can use them whole. You can cut them apart. Um, they show different ways to use them on the book. Here's cardboard cutouts. Just punch out. They're not stickers. They're just a, a heavy cardboard. And here's some tags for stamping. Okay. There we go. Look at all the stuff. Okay. And then here's the stamp set. Botanical prints. And it's red rubber. Clean set. So we can go ahead and I'll, I'll, I'll show you how I mount those. And here is, here is the die cuts for it. Let's take a look at those. I love opening this up. I had one customer, Rose, she's so sweet. She kept all of hers in the plastic and everything. So every time she used all of her, all of her things, she put them right back in this plastic again. I was like, oh my goodness. I, I'm too, um. I have to have them out. I have to have them out and available. So that wouldn't work for me. But I thought, oh my God, all her things were so well kept. Okay, so botanical dye prints. So it looks like, I'm just going to close this for a minute and see what fits on what. Um, so if you, these are all on here with tape. So if you just kind of bend it, you can pull that off. So it looks like this one must cut out this here. There we go. And here's one to cut out this little one. So like so. And then the big one. Okay. And then you have two little leaves. And these are cool. So this would cut out a fancy, fancy corner pieces. So very neat. Okay, fun. Wow. I like when they have doubles of everything because then you can, uh, you never use just two leaves, right? You're always going to do more than that. So I'm going to put this back on here. And I'm going to go ahead and put my, mount my stamp. So I'll show you how I do that. Set this aside here. So the first time we did this, I was like, oh man, I don't even, I don't, I didn't read the directions. Directions are always good. That's why they have them. They're on here, but this is what I do. So I usually pull all of mine off, push them out. Remember in the old days, we had to cut these all up. 
<laughs> and I actually loved doing that. A lot of people didn't. I would sit down with my stamp sets and get all that, my special rubber cutting scissors, and I just would make an evening of it. It was so much fun for me. There we go. And some people keep these, and I, I don't anymore, um, but you can. We had kept some of them and made mosaic. I, I attached them to a wooden block, and we made mosaic um, stamps. It was kind of fun, but for today's purpose, I have too many. I'm not doing that. So all of the stickers are here, and they all have a slit down the center. So I pull this off. I pull the paper off here. Throw that there on my first one here. And then I take the paper off of your stamp, the backing, paper backing. And then I kind of just hover them over the top. People do it different ways. I just try to hover it over the top of my sticker. There we go. Ta-da! And then peel. And you're ready to go. So this is sticky. So I don't push it real hard in the case. I'll just put it in here. Set it down. Let's do some more here. I'm going to take this off. Take that off. And this is one of those things that when you watch somebody do it, it's like, oh, Ooh, that looks so easy and then when you do it it's like oh that's not as easy as I thought it is easy it's just taking your time taking your time some people will only pull half of it off I I'm impatient for the most part I I just want to get it done and start playing ta-da there we go second one and let's finish this up here Get a couple more. Peel off. I, I on occasion would forget to peel this off. Don't do that. You can get it off, but it's easier if you just do it right the first time. And I'm just lining up my... There we go. Ta-da! Ta-da, ta-da! Okay. Here's the words. The verses that come with it. Let's make sure I get the right one. It's always bad if you if you don't get the right ones on here. Let's see here. This must be it. I have to say. Oh, you know what? This is hilarious. My words are in German. Well, no wonder I don't know what it says. I'm going to have to call them. I have German words. Um, in English, it says, thank you kindly, friend. I'm always here for you. Uh, in today's, it's in German. So if anybody has, if anybody knows German, I can send you these words. That is too funny. Well, I should, oh, I could open this. Uh, no, this one says, thank you kindly. All of these are the same. These are correct. But my stickers are in German. Very interesting, Stampin' Up! <laughs> <laughs> that has not ever happened to me before. Well, I don't think I'm going to put the stickers on because, you know, they're not the right ones. But I can look over here and see. That's hilarious. Okay. Okay. There we go. Wherever you are, there you go. Okay. I'm just going to set these in here because mine do say this, but my stickers are German. And uh, that won't do me any good because... I took French. Not that I can speak French either, but oui, oui, monsieur. Oh, cool. Okay. And let's open the ribbon. Let's take a peek at this ribbon. So on Friday, I will put some of these things together so you can tune in and see a... Whoops. Here we go. Oh, this is really pretty. Old olive. Very soft. Very thin so that it'll make nice bows. That's what I'm always interested in, that it makes a nice bow and it would be flat. Um, there we go. So that's the Botanical Prince um, Sweet Medley. It's on page 61 if you're interested in looking at that. All these beautiful prints. And then you 
make some cards with them. You get to play with it. You get all this stuff to play with. And I will show you some cards that I come up with on Friday. I will do both kits. I'll show you some cards with this kit. And I will show you, man, you get a lot of stuff. I will show you uh, the paper pumpkin kits. Okay. And let's see here. I've been working on my, I've been working on, show you really quick, this is one of the cards we're going to do at our Valentine's Day class. So I've been working on Valentine's. Because I've been using so much red, I have pulled out our um, stamp cleaning pad. You might not have paid attention to this. It's in the annual catalog. Let's see here. I'll tell you what page it's on. And it is a necessary item if you're making, if you're using all those deep colors and reds. It doesn't clean your block complete, your stamp completely, but it makes it much, much easier um, and does clean up, clean up a lot. Let's see here. Let me see. Tell you what page it's on. It's on page um, 182 of the annual catalog. It is 750, and you can get a refill for it for 375. So if you are using um, your clear stamps, let's see here, let me get one over here. Um, if you're using your clear stamps with real red, you know how, your photopolymer stamps I'm talking about, you know how, um, here it is, heart to heart, isn't this pretty? You know how much it's it stains up your um, stamps. So I wipe them off, but it's still pretty red. You can see how red it is. So when I take this, which it's red from, I've used it a lot, and the new cleaning pad, and I just kind of go over it and over it here a little bit, it will make it much lighter. We've had this for a while, and at first I was like, well, why do we need that? But then I understood once I used it, look at how much lighter it gets. It takes off so much more of the ink. So you're still going to have some staining, but not nearly the amount that you would if you weren't using this special cleaner. So it's a recommended product, especially during Valentine's when you're using all the deep reds and cherry cobbler and... Well, of course, at Christmas, that would have done well, too. So I wanted to talk to you about that. So I think that that is it today because I'm going to come back on Friday and I'm going to show you some of the cards we made. If you are interested in sharing, I'm going to turn the camera around here. If you are interested in sharing my video or commenting, letting me know you're here, I will send you... I will send three different people the cards from the paper pumpkin that I showed you. Hi, Terry. Terry's, Terry's in Florida. She's enjoying the Florida palm trees. So, um, yep, if you're uh, interested in sharing my video, you just have to hit that little share button, and I would appreciate that. You can also share on my YouTube. And I will be back on Friday to show you what I've created with all the things that I opened up today. So, and I'll have to call Stampin' Up. The good thing about Stampin' Up is that they are fabulous about, like they'll get something out to me right away with that, <laughs> with the letters, the words being in German. Terry, do you know German? I had a couple of ladies here that could speak German. Um, but uh, they, they will, they'll make it right. And that's why I love the company. Not only for the trips that I can earn being a demonstrator, but for if I have a problem, they're right there to help me. So I will contact them about that. And um, another, this is during celebration still, so any $50 order, you will get a card from me and you can pick out a free celebration item. Uh, let's see, also a great time to join my family, my Stampin' Up! family. Because for $99, you get $125 worth of product. You get that new little mini cutter. You get a paper sampler. You get to pick out um, one stamp set, any price, from any current catalog. So that's another fabulous addition during celebration. So it's a good time to think about that. So I'm going to sign off. 
Have a great week. We'll see you on Friday, and I'll have some more cards to share with you. Thank you so much. Talking on Tuesday at 2. Bye-bye.